Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video we'll look at creating our actual game board. So this is the game board component that I've created which we'll be using in our game screen. I've already written the basic code right here. So first let's look at how we are going to actually use the game board. So what I'm going to do within this board container is I'm going to say game board and then I'm going to give, give it some style of course so I will give it styles dot board let's say but another thing that I'm going to give it here is a matrix which is actually the numbers in, on my board so what I'll do is I'll make a constructor with props and then I need to call super with props and then what I do is I do this dot state equals an object so what this dot state means is that it's the state of this component of this screen in my case. So it's the state of this screen. Whenever this state changes, whatever needs to be uh, re-rendered is going to be re-rendered. So you'll understand this better when we actually do this. So let's go ahead and create a board matrix. And we are just going to use a two-dimensional array for this. So this is how I create a two-dimensional array. Um, and I'm going to need this four times. So let's just copy and paste this four times. And let's also add a couple of random twos. So I have a two here and let's say I put a two right here. So this is my board matrix now. And I'm also going to pass this board matrix to my game board. So what I do is matrix equals this dot state dot board matrix. What I can also do is in one of the previous videos we did something like this. We said const uh, board matrix equals this dot props. That's what we did in the previous video. Uh, what we can also do is I could just say this dot state and then it's going to detect that board matrix is the name of uh, the property in this dot state which is an object and it's going to give me that uh, value so it's giving, going to give me this value right here so uh, I can do this and then I can just remove the this dot state from here and this will work perfectly fine so let's go to our game board now the first thing we would want to do is we would want to receive our uh, parameters which we passed as props so uh, const style and uh, matrix equals this dot props and now let's just create a simple view and we'll give it a style of uh, we want actually multiple styles right here so uh, for now let's just give it the style which is uh, passed by the board screen so we'll just keep it at that and we'll close the view so that's all we have in our board right now and here let's create the board style so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a height of let's say um 70 percent 70 percent should be fine i think and now for my width what i'm going to do is instead of giving it a width because if i give it a width explicitly then uh, there's going to be a problem because if I give it in percentage then uh, it's going to be some percentage of the width but uh, when I say height is 70% what it means is that uh, whatever my window height is take 70% of that for my height and uh, the width might be different so what I'm going to do to keep these two equal at all times is I'm going to say aspect ratio is 1 so that the height and width are always the same and let's also give this a background color let's give it colors dot accent and uh, let's save and see what we have here so let's reload our code and we should be able to see the changes we'll see a square on the left side so it says game board is not defined that's because i forgot to import it so let's do that so import game board from components slash game board slash game board and now let's look at this again so we might have to reload again and um, this time 
as you can see it does show me the square right here so this is pretty cool this is my game board what i want to do additionally is within this game board now uh, this part is going to get slightly complicated what i want to do is for the matrix that's passed to me i want to uh, map each row of the matrix so uh, let's just start doing this and you'll actually understand what we're doing so within curly braces right here let's write matrix dot map and uh, this map now takes a function which has a value and an index and an index and from this uh, this is the function that I want to write so now um, let's actually just do console dot log and the value so that we understand exactly what is happening so let's save this and go back to our um, code so as you can see I got this console logs in my uh, terminal so I've got 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2. so these are all my rows so what I want to do here is uh, I want to write a return statement so I say return and then I return a view uh, which is style as a row so I say style equals styles dot row and uh, let's just close the view right here and let's just keep it at that let's go to our uh, game board styles and write a row style what we are going to do is we are going to say that it has a border width of let's say 1 and a border color border color is colors dot um, primary let's say let's save and let's go back to our um, UI so as you can see uh, now I am getting some few lines here uh, what I'm missing out is that a row should have a height of 25% so height is 25% and now let's go back so as you can see I've got these rows right here and these are the borders that are being drawn for the rows so I have these four rows and uh, let's look at our logs once again so as you can see each row is again an array and this map function that we used was just for an array itself so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to say that within this view I want again another mapping which is um, which is made value dot map so probably this value is not um, the best name to give this so let's call this uh, row array and I have an index and uh, I'm going to do value dot sorry now it'll be row array dot map and now what do I want to do here um, I want to say that what is it that I want to map so it's uh, it's now the tile value and the index again so let's just call this tile index and then what I do is um, I go ahead and I return another view from within this so view style equals styles dot tile and um, let's just close the view right here so uh, this might seem slightly complicated but don't worry too much about it if you're not very used to this uh, all of this notation or the map function you'll get used to it when you work a bit with JavaScript so let's go back to our um, game board styles and let's style our tile so what style do we want to give it so we want a border width of 1 and a border color of colors dot primary and I could actually um, I could actually just get rid of both of this now because every tile is going to have a border so I don't need that and here I just need to mention that the width is 25% now because it's a 4 by 4 board so now let's go back to our UI and um, I'm not getting anything here that's probably because I forgot my return statement right here so I'm going to say return and within this return I have these things right here so uh, now let's go back to our UI 
and as you can see I've got these lines and um, there's something messed up about the styles so um, let's just set the height as well to 25% 25% and now go back so as you can see this uh, I'm getting all of this in a vertical line right here and the reason that's happening is because uh, I haven't set the flex direction of my row so for my row what I should be doing is I should be setting a flex direction so flex direction is row and now let's check it out so um, let's get rid of this height now so this should work so as you can see I've created my uh, game board successfully I have my four cross four board and one last thing that we'll do in this video is we'll just add some text here so text style equals styles dot um, tile value or tile text let's say tile text and within this what I want to do is I'm just going to say tile value which is this thing right here and let's see what happens now so let's go back to our uh, matrix so I've got this um, two right here and I've got this two right here so let's take a look at what we set the matrix to be so as you can see in my zeroth row I set the uh, set the first index because this is zero this is one so I set this to do and I set this to do this is in my first row so I'm getting this perfectly here and we can just do uh, some basic styling for our text so what we can do is style text um, before I do tile, tile text I should probably go to my tile and do align items to center and justify content to center and for my tile text what I can do is I can set the font size to something like 24 maybe and let's go back uh, so this looks pretty good I could probably increase this to something like 32 so uh, this is pretty good the board looks pretty neat now so in the next video we'll do some more styling to this board and we'll also uh, get rid of these zeros right here and we'll try to uh, add some functionality so uh, that'll be a really fun one I think so uh, make sure you give the video a like and if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys please do subscribe it's a huge help to me and I'll see you next time don't forget to tell your friends about the video bring them too we can all make this game together so see you soon